Good afternoon. This is JR at Keep 100 Podcast, your host. Got a great uh, show for you this afternoon. We were a little bit delayed because of uh, power outages and things of that nature. So, you know, let Mother Nature do her thing. But I got a great show for you right now. Uh, we're going to get right into it. Um, I've got a gentleman uh, who I, I think is just magical in, in his voice and what he can do. Uh, he's uh, been on Showtime at the Apollo. He uh, actually is right now holding a two-time back-to-back first place winner at uh, the iconic uh, Showtime at the Apollo, one of my favorites. We're sitting here right now with Chad, uh, Chatty Bear Howard. How you doing, man? Man, I'm blessed by the best. There you go. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're going. I'm gonna dive right into it because you know I got. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, rebroadcasting this over and over and over, and this will uh, probably be on. Um, I know we're gonna be we're on Facebook Live right now, but we'll also probably be on like YouTube, our, our channel, and whatever other uh, one my uh nephew decides or business partner decides to uh upload it to but yeah it'll be running running back and forth so for all your folks that miss it you tell them they're, they you know you can send it you can send it to them and they can they awesome. can watch this so we're gonna you know we'll have views and views and views so it's all good but let me let me just tie, dive a little deep with you real quick uh chat um let me ask this question how does it feel man uh to go on showtime at the apollo go back to back you know, the first time you won, I know because you know when, when you first step on stage and people don't know what to expect, especially at a place like the Apollo, and those those that's a tough crowd. But to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was it like, man? Um, the first time that you uh, arrived at Showtime at the Apollo, um, and you got on stage, what was it like right after you finished singing? You know what I, I tell you? It was uh, it was just an a in awe feeling. Okay. Just uh, just a in awe, and for between the first and the second time, because keep in mind I didn't have a large cluster of you know people that 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 travel with me. Oh, um, gotcha. When I went in August, my god sister, Lady K, she accompany me and mm-hmm. then while we were there in august we we met a guy became cool with him i told him i was coming back in september then he wound up coming and recording and so you talking about having that one person both times and to be able to get the kind of love and reaction that i received from the mm-hmm. apollo from the main floor second balcony and the third balcony because mm-hmm. you know there are people normally they just come just to boot <laughs> regardless of how good you sounded or anything and so i i i told the lord lord keep them away from me. <laughs> keep them at bay when i'm there you know let them be there any other time <laughs> then you know but when i'm with chatty bed is there come on that you know yeah exactly <laughs> exactly no kidding man so your your upbringing um just kind of put put us uh, at par with that you grew up tell me how you how you where you grew up at how you grew up uh brothers sisters all that yes i, I grew up my my mother had uh two children and and then uh uh my uh sister she has a uh her son who is a wonderful uh wonderful talented nephew okay and so you know, born and raised in Austin, uh, Austin, Texas, in the ne- in the neighborhood of St. John's. St. Okay. John's. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, at the age of four, at the age of four, um, we grew up under Blacks Memorial Baptist Church. Okay. You know that good old Baptist. You Got know. the tamarind shaking, hitting the leg. Come and... on. <laughs> you know, you know, when, when, when you hit that one note on the on the on the organ, you know it. Ah, you know, <laughs> woo. And so, you know, we we went there, and at the age of four, uh, my first song to lead with the youth choir was mm-hmm. "Please Be Patient with Me," okay. and 
Next thing I know, as I was singing and people standing on their feet, I was mm -hmm. like, what y'all doing? And so, <laughs> uh, like uh, the dude on the uh, uh, Coming to America, that boy okay. shy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that that was what's his name? That was uh, Arsenio Hall. Right. <laughs> 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 so, you know, even in even in high school, uh, high school, uh, whether I was seeing a spiritual or um, a different type in a different language, somebody okay. in the audience would say, "Sing Luther." I'm like, yeah, really? <laughs> I'm up here in the tuxedo about to sing Solite and you call me Luther. <laughs> but you know, I you know it's it's all good and love, so I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, man, there you is, there it is. You know, it, it's funny when you uh if you I studied people for a long time. You know how some people grow up and they they uh they study different things throughout life, you know, and I always like uh people were always excited exciting to me just to kind of people watch and try and figure out who i was dealing with before they actually start talking so i used to watch people and their expressions and their movement and i learned a lot about how someone moves very important how they move tells you a lot about the, the, the person and then the facial expressions and stuff like that right. but uh you, you can hear me okay right absolutely absolutely okay. I when we got readjusted, uh -huh. and you know what? We we want to do this because that light is ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. I, that, I light, that light was make I was feel like when you used to at the counter, I was like, this is, this is like really makes it's hot. So yeah. I, I, that, I, that, I, uh, <laughs> uh my, my buddy uh, Muddy Moses, he got me that light, you know, for the for the podcast. And so <laughs> I, I was trying to try to let me add a little extra light. But that light was cooking me. I'm like, you know what? Hey, we're gonna turn hey. this light off. I'm good with the Lord's hey. light. Hallelujah. Hey, so, you know, hey, hey. I, I, I had a I had a moment of a Lady Gaga and a star was born. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. So um so let's let's talk about some of your uh let me ask that. Let me ask this question because this I always ask. This is a question when it comes to singers, songwriters, um, vocalists, and it, there's a huge difference between someone that sings, holds a note, and a vocalist. Someone that's an actual vocalist. Because singing, you can get a singing. You can get a singer can get a singing coach, someone to help them learn how to sing, where to sing from, and things of that nature. Um, a vocalist is born with a gift. This is my opinion. It's just you have that special quality that I call it that God quality. It's that it's that you know that ringing in the ears, that that uh, that vibration. Um, they just they actually they're on a whole different frequency. I'm 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 into energy and frequencies, and I understand how the world works. So usually, when I'm talking with someone or meeting someone or or just watching someone the way they move because everything is vibration and energy. That's how I'm so way above what they're thinking already, you know, unless they're on that level, you know? Yeah. So how did, how did, how and when did you realize that you had that gift, not just being a singer, uh, but being able to vibrate and, and realize that you are gifted and you're a vocalist because that, that comes from somewhere else. That didn't come from just the same place. Well, you know, um, I was told that I was a joke singing gospel and I'll be a bigger joke singing R&B. And wow. so it really wasn't until recently where, uh, and I, I, I love how you put that because mm -hmm. that shows the, the difference in between the, the two words. And, and mm -hmm. all that and all that it takes within those two words. And so as far as the vocalist, um, it, like you said, this is nothing but God. I didn't mm -hmm. do no, uh, no vocal coaching or anything like that. This is truly a God, uh, God gift. And okay. so um, it's not until recently that God is showing me 
people appreciating my gift. Right. Because I, I, I be a lot of times would be overlooked. And um, I, I told someone what's so crazy. I, I got more love at the Apollo than I've gotten in the church. Wow. And so, cause I mean, I mean, keep in mind, you know, you go to church with people that you've been knowing for years or your relatives or anything such as that. And, and mm -hmm. to get the response that I received in mm -hmm. August and in September mm -hmm. to receive that, um, I was telling someone, there was literally this one gentleman. I mean, he looked like he could have been Medea's baby daddy from back in the day. <laughs> and so, and so, you know, in those in those Apollo seats, they they are theater seats. <laughs> and so, you yeah. know, old school. He when you know they called us out. They called us mm -hmm. uh, after we got through singing. They had me to close out the show. Uh, they called us out, and you could tell when they called one person out. That little cluster of people be like, yeah, you know, like that. But you know, when they when they were preparing to get some to call my name, mm -hmm. old school got ready. He was ready to stand up. And oh. when they said, when they said, will it be Chatty Bear? He popped up like popcorn. He was like, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> you, you know, I love the old school love, you know. Oh, heck yeah. You heck know? yeah. And so and so, and then when they said, okay, the winner is Chatty Bear, you know. And so, to, to get that kind of love in a place, I'm 1,400 miles, 1,400 plus miles away from what I call home. Okay. You know, never been to New York a day in my life. Okay. And to receive that type of a love. And right. Acceptance and appreciation for my God-given gift is, is a beautiful thing. Let me ask this, this question. I mean, I, actually, I won't even ask you this question, but I'll, I'll just uh, kind of, we'll, we'll stay, on, stay on this point for just a moment. You know, you know what happens, too, and, and again, it's just my opinion, mm -hmm. is uh, I, I think it's kind of like just being uh, kind of like any, any, uh, any relationship or whatever. People don't realize the beautiful people until they've left the room, you know, and, and, and what I mean by that is that, you know, you can be, you could be there and be special and, and until you're gone and they, and you're not there anymore, uh, adding, cause what, that's what happens. Uh, magical people or special people, they don't come in a room, they add to the room, you know? Yeah. And, uh, just like in a like in a relationship, you know, um, I a friend of mine was just saying something about uh, yeah, I, you know, he started this online dating thing, and he was saying, you know, I'm looking for. And I said, how about instead of be looking for, how about you're wanting to add to your life? You're not looking for anything. Right. You're good the way you are. Just right. add to it. Yeah. So you know that my point there is the people back home that are around you. They don't realize how special of a person or a being that they have right next to them. In the moment that you leave that congregation or whomever, you say you took another uh, minister job somewhere else. If you left them, not until someone else came behind you would they realize what they had in front of them. Right. Absolutely. You know, and, and it's sad. It's sad. And, say, and too bad for them, you know. So, <laughs> you you know, I was uh, I was on Facebook uh, chatting with a, a former choir member when I lived in Austin, and okay. so um, I told I was I texted her. I said, "I'm glad the pastor fired me." <laughs> and you know, a lot of times um, situations. Situations, mm -hmm. you know, situations, <laughs> uh, you know, God, God sets, God sets it up where He right. literally has to push you out. Oh yeah, of a situation, oh, yeah. you know, and of course, the thing about it is, what the devil meant for bad, 
God will turn around and make it for your good. Oh, and heck yeah. So, heck yeah. you know, with um, all the things that has transpired uh, up until this point, and uh, like Fantasia said, it was necessary. And oh, yeah. So, you know, <laughs> like, you, like, you was, like you were saying about, um, you know, it's, 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 you pretty much uh, flipped it of saying you don't miss the water till the well runs dry. Exactly. It's just the way it, it's just so, the way it is. And uh, let me and let me also take this uh, opportunity to say thank you for allowing me the opportunity to be on your platform because um, you know outside of the podcast, this is actually my first interview discussing the Apollo. Okay. Uh, you, know, you know what? Let, well, let's 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 let's. Let's stay on this on this point for a moment because uh, I was thinking um, after watching watching the first show, and then I watched the second show, and then um, you know it's interesting because when we do podcasts, we don't really contact and talk a whole bunch to the guests that's coming in, and we've wow. kept it that way for a reason to keep everything raw, which I like. You know, I'm just I like I like that 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 raw talent that raw interviewer you know i don't know what you're going to say but you know i, I know how to react uh and, and which i don't react to things what i do is i take a moment and understand what's being uh given to me and then i you know i go with it but nothing's going to shock me um but let me let's let, let's examine this for a moment um so you're you finish that uh your first uh song on the show at the Apollo, you get a standing ovation. Um, people are throwing all kind of stuff, you know. Um, thank thank I, I'm God. I'm one of those <laughs> I, I, I think I would have got shut down, kicked out, because, you know, th things are different now. So, you know, from back in the day, you know, because uh, somebody said, I'm about to throw my drawers at you. I'm like, uh oh <laughs> <laughs> Look, look here, y'all. I, I don't know y'all trying to throw something at me and I have to dodge tomato. You know, just give me a hey. hand set so I know how to handle myself. You got to be careful nowadays, too, because, you know, I, I was talking with my, mo my mother uh, the other day, and we're talking about uh, back in the day when when she went to see somebody in concert, and she said something about this this artist. I think it was I think it was Freddie Jackson or or, or one of those guys. And he uh, he had was sweating real hard, and he had to rub, take the towel, rub it, and then he threw it to the crowd, and and they threw it back. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see that that that's why that's one thing that I chatted bread not going to do. That, that, that's nasty. You just got <laughs> you. I don't want your your towel. You you know. You you let, let, and also let me tell you something. I I ju I'm just literally getting over having strep throat. Oh, okay, got and, it. And got and it. I was talking to another singer that said, "Oh yeah, it was going around." And so okay. not knowing that it was a certain you know ailment that was in the air, you know, right. I was just like, "Wait a minute, my throat hurt. I don't like to talk. It hurts." You know, that's all it was. Right. And I was and because of having a good mother, I was able to doctor it on my own for me to right. be able to talk today and so but uh but yeah oh i that's that's nasty sweat on the towel now yeah that, can you imagine can that, you that, imagine? That, that's, that's, that's doing a little bit too much that's the same thing as about having uh having draws thrown on you you don't know <laughs> if they're clean or not <laughs> and <laughs> everybody do not practice good <laughs> Well, the other thing too, uh, you're 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 an actual actual minister too, right? I'm a minister of music. Oh, music. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, so, so what, I, you I don't, know, I don't do all that that preaching, you know. Oh, okay, you know, okay. I, I, no, I, I no. use music as my ministry. Uh, okay, but no, I was gonna say because you know, you know, you know, you can't like you like if you're a pastor or you're a minister, you can even if someone's throwing it at you, you can't catch it. <laughs> I'm teasing you, man. 
Uh, but, like you got you got to move out of the way, you know. You gotta, <laughs> you <gotta. laughs> you know. So let yeah. me ask you this question, man. Um, because I know growing up, uh, just kind of paint a picture for you. I know where we're growing up in the suburbs, um, in Chicago and stuff. As kids, my sisters and I, we had friends that built a stage and we all would go over and try and sing. And I, I realized I couldn't sing, so I, I immediately backed out and I would you know, <laughs> grab, a, gra- grab a soda and, and watch those guys. But everybody in the neighborhood, you know, how everybody wants to start a band and stuff like that. Cause we played outside. We didn't stay in a, we didn't stay in a house and, and computers and all that kind of stuff. We were always outside, you know, eating from fruit trees and all that kind of stuff. Right. Well, uh, but let, let me ask you in growing up, how did, were you outside a lot? Were you, I mean, how, what was your growing up like? Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what I did was I made my own stage. Okay. I took, uh, different uh different items from the back of the house and we had a patio in the back and so i would uh i i mean i put that stage together but uh has some different items underneath and had a big old uh flat board to put on top of it and i st- was able to stand on there and sing and then i fell Twisted my ankle, had to go to oh. the ER. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, look, yeah. I, when, when you were talking about going outside and making do a stage, that was like deja vu because I remember that to this day. And, you know, I've, I've, um, I've always, I, looking back on it, I've always pretty much been uh, a person that's comfortable being with themselves. You know, good, I good. I do not have to be around people. Oh, I need to be around people. No, I'm Chad. Good <laughs> trust. That's and good. A, and so yeah, I entertain yeah. myself. <laughs> and you know, I fell, and I was like, "Mama!" <laughs> and so you know, of course, you know, I'm like here I come. You know, here I go. <laughs> you know, uh oh. So yeah, Mama, <laughs> Mama to the ER. And everything can pass me up. But yeah, I, I can remember going in the backyard and making my own stage. So yeah, most wow, of wow. Did you did you uh you made you made a stage? Did you get any of your in, now growing up also? Did you have a lot of neighborhood friends or did you how was that for you growing up? Like I said uh before, you know, people I've I I it was a lesson that I learned is that people would be seasonal yes you know yes. you know um and when i say seasonal you know regardless of whether we know each other if you saying something i don't agree with then you do you and i'm gonna do me and keep Guaranteed. it moving and you know and so in that particular season uh I would, there there was like maybe one or two of the neighborhood in different parts, like different years, like unless someone done moved away or have Mm -hmm. you. But as far as singing, I really didn't sing in front of people until it was actually a church. So it was really church was my space and opportunity to do what I do. Okay. So uh, in asking this question too, so you're you're not you're not newer to singing but you're when did you decide to go to, to, to the apollo how how'd that come i mean how that come into fruition well you know uh money moses he was he was telling me uh asking me did i sign up for the apollo and i'm like no because he said well i signed up my wife and i'm like and so i'm like okay so i looked online found the link, mm-hmm. had sent in my information, sent them in my video, and then I got my email. Then I, well, first, before I got my email, I actually got a phone call from the talent coordinator at the Apollo, uh, Miss Kathy. And, okay. you know, uh, 
uh, I, I guess Miss Kathy took to my voice as well. And so okay. she was like, you need to see Barry White when you come up here. I'm like, okay. She knew. And she so, knew. So I was like, okay, I, you know, I, I listened to, I, I listened to counsel, you know, and like, especially she, she you know, she, chances are she probably been up there for years, so she know what was going to get the people. Right. And so, you know, to, to get first place twice. It's that's, yeah. Different. You don't, yeah, that, that, I mean, that's, well, actually to, to, let me tell you, put it this way, to actually win on the Apollo, because you know, part of that whole thing with, with the Sandman, they like to see you get dragged. <laughs> yeah, so so they can dance. They really, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, one person, one person got booed my, uh, in August when I went, and mm -hmm. he, uh, this this young man, he was dancing and he was uh, doing Michael Jackson song, and he was of Asian descent, okay. and so. You know, he was doing his thing, and because we would, uh, the rest of the contestants was downstairs in the green room, and they had the TV screen so we could see what was going on. And so he was doing the dancing and all that, and but the crowd just was not feeling him. And yeah, they, they don't you. yeah, they stopped. They were booing, and they had uh, they had these <laughs> church, they had these church fans. I'm trying to see. Here it is. <laughs> they have these fans. Either you gonna get this, or you gonna get this. <laughs> and so, and so they were like, yeah. I was like <laughs> no, I'm and so look at you. When I when I saw that, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> You might have this, a, in Jesus' name, they bet not boo me. <laughs> you did a prayer. You did a double take. You did a double prayer before you walked out there. Man, I was like, boo. I was like, y'all really do that. Uh, <laughs> and I, and I, when you think, when you really think about um, the journey of everybody, everybody has a story. So everybody has right. a story of even how they were able to even get to the Apollo. Oh, I right. used my last bit of money to get my plane ticket, or I slept in the airport just to get here, and you know. So when you hear yeah. that, and then they they even have it on the marquee, either be good or be gone. Uh, whew. Yeah, whew. they they like that for real in New York, <laughs> and so especially like, come on, really, <laughs> a fan. Boom! <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh man, y'all cold blooded. So yeah, so you know, I, 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 they called me on this back of the stage, and I was like, oh, oh, don't be no boomy, be no boomy. I came out there, rubbed the log, mm -hmm. and then, you know, I, 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 I had to, I had to get them, get them ready, cause see, they didn't know what was gonna happen. Yeah, guarantee. They didn't know what was going to happen. They were like, okay, you're just going to be another singer. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so I got there, and, you know, kicked that leg out. They're like, oh. I'm like, I'm not coming to play with y'all. <laughs> y'all not, look, y'all will not boo me. <laughs> hey, I In noticed. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> hey, I noticed when you opened up, as soon as you start singing, they start, you know, getting out. They got excited. The, the girl, the women, they got excited in that crowd, you know. And uh, you, you, you know, it's. Uh, I'm telling you, my my mother, she was the blueprint of the uh, the, the female, the woman. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, growing up, my my voice started dropping, but I could still sing. And mm -hmm. so, my mother was like, you know what? I show like Barry White. You should. Listen to Barry White. Sing a sing a song from Barry White. So I actually learned practice what you preach for her. Oh, just, okay. Look, just okay. to sing to her. Okay. And then I moved to Houston, and then you know start singing different places, and then I I pull out, girl, 
There's something wrong with you. They're like, oh! I'm like, see, Vernon Howard's been having this all along. Y'all just not catching up. So you know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then being able to get love from the Apollo, that's like, it's, that was big for me. Yeah, there you go. Let me ask this question. So, so uh, you wrap up. You're you're in. You're you finished up in uh, August. You did the you did the show. You got back home. So I'm sure people back home were like, "Hey, man, you know." Uh, did, when you got back, did anybody did it, did you tell anyone that you were going there before you left? I don't. Bl I don't blame you because just in case. <laughs> just, 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 Between just, just just in case, and you know about you know moving in silence, because I one thing for sure, I did want to say, hey y'all, I'm about to go to the Apollo, and then <laughs> yeah, and we heard you done got booed too. <laughs> so you know, I, I even in my social media, I was just dropping nuggets strategically. Uh, what was going on? I wasn't even tagging okay. anyone. You know, okay. I took a picture of me on the airplane. Okay, it's nice, nice, a, nice. You know, then I dropped a picture of me uh, uh, looking over at Manhattan, over the Hudson River. Oh, you cool. know, and, and everything. And then uh, once I, after I got through, after I got through, um, once I, once uh, after I got to doing the sound check, mm -hmm. that's when I dropped. Chad performing at the Apollo. And then my god sister, she was recording. I know you heard her all in the all in the recording. Yeah. And, everything. <laughs> and so she was like, they're like, you know him? Like, That's my yeah. brother. <laughs> and so and, and then so um and she of course she went live and then then of course when they were doing uh the numbers and she was like, oh my god, oh my god. Oh yeah, my God. Heard and she's like, come through, come through. <laughs> we brought that Texas up in here. We come through. I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I thought the I, only Texan up there. <laughs> I I thought I was. I, I you know that 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 actually made that taping that much more special. Because you get you get to come through, come through, come through. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like that. That's interesting. So here we are. You're at the. Uh, you you win. Um, you're now. How do they? How do they set that up? They, you know, after you win, they invite you back and tell you, you know, how long you have before you come back or what? How's that work? So when I went in August and uh, after I won that in August, then they were giving me different dates to return back for the next round, whether it was okay. in September, October, November, and knowing okay. that uh, November is the grand finale. And, oh. and of course, yeah, November's the grand finale. So on October the 19th, I actually go for the semifinals. Okay. And so um, in August was just my first attempt. And then September, I, I sung with other singers that place, whether it was okay. first, second, or third. And oh, so great, great. like uh, the guy that won second place uh, with me, in August, uh, in September, he didn't he didn't place. Someone else took second place. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I see how that works. Okay. And so, 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 yeah, it was like, okay, you placed this time, you can come back and you know, uh, what they say, defend your title, you know. Yeah. And so, I came back and said to me, by the grace of God, got first place again. Wow! 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 Now, let me ask you this question. In because you 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 tell me about this friend of yours or the seasonal friend of yours that <laughs> said you were a joke and you'd be more of a joke singing R and B but you were a joke singing gospel. Um, <clears throat> after finishing that song, in 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 a paragraph, describe the feeling inside what you were feeling, uh, emotional. Because you had to be emotional. I mean, I you know I don't care who you are. When you have that kind of gift, and you're actually you're actually giving yourself to the crowd raw, not knowing how they're going to receive you, although you had been there before, and they received you and gave you a standing you know ovation and all that. But 
how how were how was Chad at the moment at, at that moment after finishing that song? How, how were you feeling? What did you feel? It was really a. Um, it was just really just a good, just a really uh, a feeling of uh, gratefulness because of knowing the history behind the Apollo. And right. you know, when, when you say certain things, it's, it's out there in the atmosphere, like a mm -hmm. computer, you know, it's a, your mental computer. That's it. You know, and so that's why I try to be around positive people. And so once once I see negativity, I'm like, yeah, you know, get that as they call it, get that Baptist finger, uh, <laughs> because you, that, that, that's what they call it, the Baptist finger. And so and, and and didn't and didn't know what was really they call. And so the thing is, because it's the church, it was the Baptist finger, but didn't mm -hmm. know until later on that it was really based off of the slavery time. Where yeah, it, when they were, when they would have gatherings, there would mm -hmm. have to be the one white master to be there to be the overseer of all these color folks coming together, and mm -hmm. so you have to if you have to go to the bathroom, you have to let them know there's one less that's not going to be here. Okay, so you know, and look, and didn't know at the time, but you know, knowledge is power, and so now you know, it. and so um. But just a feeling of just of really gratefulness to get that kind of love. Because like I said, no one has to be nice to you. And no. when you have survived being cussed out by a pastor on Sunday morning, when you've been, uh, when you having to deal with uh, coming to church and discover that your keyboard has been vandalized. Ooh. You know, um, wow. or uh, a a choir member that was, was must be on some on some mental craziness and wanted to fight me in the same yeah. way. And so different yeah. different um, different situations in different my entities. life, different entities. <laughs> My my reality has been these different things. And right. so to be able to, you know, survive through it, keep pushing, it has mm -hmm. not been easy. Okay, but gotcha. because of the love of God and music, you mm -hmm. know, it's it's, it's keeping uh, like like the uh like the little boat. Gotta keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, that that's why I I strive to be around positive people, creative people. That's why uh, me and Money Moses, we took to each other. You know, we okay. we can speak the same language that not many other people can understand, but him and I have an understanding. And oh, that's so, great. Um, abs absolutely. So, just just really, just really a gratefulness because you know people don't have to be nice to you. Guaranteed. Let me ask this question. Um, <clears throat> where would you, I mean, if you, if you were to, to, to pick a few people that, that actually give, gives you, uh, inspiration and in singing right now, who are some of your favorite, like, uh, five, five, uh, male artists that you really admire? Living or dead? Uh, both. It doesn't okay. matter. Um, Legends, you you go with legends too. It, it, uh, you know, number one, you gotta be very white. Gotcha. He has to be number one. Can you I tell know, you something? Uh, <laughs> before you before you continue on, I'm just gonna add this to it. Um, I was just at I don't know if I mentioned that to you, uh, but I mentioned to a couple other people. I was at his uh granddaughter's uh launch party for her uh her music, and I'll have to send you the send you the the uh video on that. Kind of interesting. Yeah, and I yeah. met all those people. Yeah, I get around. <laughs> Look at you. So go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. But yeah, uh, number one, Barry White. <laughs> Excuse me. Number two, of course, you know, pre pre pretty much all the male vocals that my voice has compared to uh, 
Barry White, Gerald Avert, um, Teddy Pendergrass, Luther Vandross, Fred Hammond. Ooh, okay. You know, they 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 hit me with all of them that they all okay. came together. And okay. They came there. Let and, me ask you this. Uh, what about what about female female uh, five female artists? Female artists, uh, number one would be the Clark Sisters. Okay. okay. Uh, next would be Phyllis Hyman. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, Liberty Confusion. Yeah, Phyllis Hyman. Uh, another one would be Nancy Wilson. Oh, yeah. Nancy Wilson's voice. And even though, you know, it was, there was some like, yeah, you know, she do all that, but you, like you said, she was that she was a vocalist. She just wasn't a singer. She was a vocalist. Right. And there's a, uh, there's a difference. And then it was just with the, her approach with certain lines of music, it really caused you to have chills. It was just like, oh. So, wow. um, so what we say, Claw Sisters, we said uh, Nancy Wilson. Uh, who else I say? Okay, Nessa Wilson, Phyllis Hyman, and Phyllis the Clark Hyman. sisters. Um, okay. Two more. I would say. Um, uh, no, Dion. Who? Dion Warwick. Nah. No, Wendy. No, Wendy. No, 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 not, no, not, 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 not to take away from Dion Warwick because you know she can say, you. you know, that girl. Let me make girl. sure I make that clear. I'm not yeah, exactly. hating nobody. <laughs> I ain't hating nobody. <laughs> but, no, but, but you, you just gravitate to certain singers. Um, Faith right. Evans. Faith Evans. Oh, Faith Evans. Okay. Yeah. Faith Evans. Yeah. 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 I'll probably say the last one will probably will have to be the Queen, Pat LaBelle. Oh, God, yeah. Wow. Pat wow. LaBelle got us neck and neck. I, I'll say that. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they've they have, they have done music together <clears throat> and everything. And Gladys Knight, she her, just her tone alone was yeah. just, ooh. I mean, she'll yeah. she take any song and take it to church. Yeah. Then yeah. that turn to Georgia. <laughs> yeah. I got to hey. go. I got to go. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of got to go, here's uh, a place that you um, have to go visit. You have to you have to do this for yourself, for your soul, uh, for the people. Um, but you're gonna have to go down to Atlanta. Atlanta is gonna gravitate towards you in your energy, your. Um, your kindness and more important is is that you know Atlanta is that is that that place I'm not I'm not big on the south I, I'm not a big south cop type person and there's reasons right. behind it and right. uh but um when it comes to singers songwriters music people I know I know music because I just I just it's a gift for me knowing having that ear and to fill it and all that kind of stuff and Right. Music people are my, that's my tribe. You know, although I can't sing, <laughs> I, I, li I live for, I live for you guys. I, I can, <laughs> I can match up uh, vocals and, and tell you who should be a uh, backup singer or who should be lead, lead singer. You can take, I can take music and, 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 and put the people to it. But uh, and that's more of an executive type thing right wow. there. Um <clears throat> But I'll tell you, um, if, when you get a chance, definitely visit Atlanta. Uh, do you know whether you're going down there and you're just on vacation? Go down there and do like uh, we know how they have the open mic type stuff down there. You right. blow them away. You blow them away. You you probably might you might not make it back home. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, Atlanta's like that because they they love they love their own down there, you know. And uh, but when it when it comes to um, performing what i've noticed also because there's a lot of people that can sing there's a lot of people that uh 
are have better voices than others. And then there's some people that you're like, how did they, how did this person get signed? You know, and it's like, you're like, you're like, what? Um, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, you know? there's, a, there's a number I really think I'm like, you up there, I'm not, what's really going on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and you know, the, the interesting thing about that, when I, I, I grew up playing basketball and I, well, uh, from what I was told that I was very, very good. I never thought either way. I just knew when I went, when I played, I knew I, I wanted to attack the hoop and I knew I, I could shoot and I knew that I could leap above and slam dunk on somebody. So I never had a fear when I got on the court of, you know, if I'm going to be good enough or anything of the sort. So I would laugh when people would be like, you know, oh man, you can ball. You know, I was like, I was like, really? You think so? Okay. All right. You know, it's just it comes natural. So what the reason I brought that up speaking with you is sometimes us as people, or I should say we as people um, that are gifted like that, especially when it comes to music, a total different thing. Let's make, let's take me out of this and, and get back to you. Um, sometimes you need to hear from someone that, that knows music and not saying I know everything about music, but I, I, I put in about two to three hours a day of listening to different uh, music. I have friends that send me their music that they're mixing and stuff like that. To have, right. I listen to it. Um, I've pretty much been, I've lived in four different other countries uh, and been around different people. Um, so I, gotta, I gotta work on my languages because I lost a lot of my other languages. But I'm telling you right now, man, um, and I think you need to hear it from somebody that someone that's biased i because i don't really know you but i'm just telling you from listening to you when i first heard you talk i can tell when someone can sing from just the way their voice is and the vibration you you have the gift 100 percent, and you know and it's not one of those if i were you stories it's more of you uh just own it you know own it just walk, walk in the room and take it over uh because no one knows how how good you are until you actually open your mouth Right, you know that's the, that's the bottom line. Let's let me get into uh, get into this this next uh, next question for you. Mm -hmm. So you you I'm actually sitting. We're actually I'm actually interviewing somebody that's going back for a third time to Showtime at the Apollo, and that's gonna be that's interesting to and, and also I'm excited for you more than anything, and that's one of the one of the things that I, I love about life. And when I talk to people, friends or family or whomever, I've always been that type of person that I want to celebrate your wins with you, you know? And it's like, that's just the way it is. And I think people should be there for you. So let me ask, how does it feel knowing that you're going back in October the 19th to Showtime at the Apollo and you're going to be competing, taking on uh, new, is it going to be newcomers and also people that have already, you know, got placed? Uh, well, this, yeah, this, these, this is the semifinals, so. Oh, these are all people this, that. It, this is. Uh, if, if you want, if you happen to hit first place, or mm -hmm. even even to some others that may you know they keep placing, like if, if someone okay, this time around you got second place, this time around you got first place, you know, people okay. that have placed prior to okay, now here we are in the month of October, here we are, that's the semifinals, and then okay, it's like you're like one performance away. From the grand finale. So the, let me ask this question: The grand finale is going to be in November, right? Right. right. Okay. And this this is for this is to take it all, right? This is the whole kit and caboodle. So so bottom line: the, if you if you let's I'm not even going to say F. You win on October nineteenth. You you go back in in November. And November is all right. The person, it's like all right. So you you either get a you get a pair of steak knives, or you or you win. <laughs> Absolutely. So, win and all the all the uh, the cash prizes and all that comes with it. And so, wow. um, I'm just looking forward to uh, any opportunities that God sends my way. Of course, right. you have to be wise and, you know, okay. do your research. I'm not, I'm, I'm 40. So you okay. just can't just 
say anything to me, I'm gonna do my research, you know. Because I've I, I kid you not, some someone uh they they hyped up this whole what they were gonna do for me if I move if I if I up and root and move oh. to uh Mississippi. I moved okay. to Mississippi because they said, Oh, we're gonna have you a car and we're gonna have you a your own apartment and da 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 da. So you get to Mississippi and what? <laughs> I'm staying inside the pastor's house with him, his wife, and their two children. <laughs> okay. Where's the apartment? It happens. <laughs> Where's the vehicle? <laughs> but now I'm down here. I don't have no family, no friends or family. I'm oh, stuck. no. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. You're talking okay, about moving. <laughs> I, I, you know, <clears throat> born and raised in Texas, so all I knew was Texas. Right, so right. And it's to different be able to go to a whole other different state. Wow. And just like, okay, I have to bear it, which mm -hmm. is the, which is the same pastor who wound up cussing me out on Sunday morning. So, <laughs> I, I, I don't want, I don't want people to say like, oh, you, you don't want that cuss that you. No, this was no. a pat, which I'm not gonna say his name. No, no, they no, know no. who they were. He, you know, he was, it was years ago. He was, it was like twenty years ago. But yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, I was like, he was, was having like, a bad day. <laughs> I was like, okay, but don't take it out on me. Hey, let me, so let me you, ask you. You, you can take it out on anybody else, but yeah. when you take it out on me, let, man, let me ask I you. had two choir members that overheard it. And so one of them that I still talk to this day, you know, she just said, oh, I just can't, oh, I, I'll never forget. What he said, it, oh my God, I'm like, yeah, I know. It's over, right, you know, right. what it was, you know. Hey, so you yeah. know what? So, sometimes people remember your past better than you. One of my friends <laughs> told me that, you know? Yeah. And uh, you, you got, as you say, you got to keep it moving. Let me you ask you this next question. <laughs> Guaranteed. Let, let me ask you this question. Um, are there other people in your family that can sing? They have went on to glory, the ones that I do know. Oh, okay. um, my right. my cousin, my cousin, she could sing. Um, and she didn't pass on. And my grandmother, she okay. sung in the choir. Uh, okay. And so, you know, then my, my daddy, he could sing as well. Okay. You know? He he was he passed he was killed in a car accident in eighty seven. Oh, sorry and to hear so, that. Yeah, so but he, he could sing, and so there were like certain. It was it was really like Christmas. If you got the gift, you got yeah. the gift, and if you didn't, you got something else. You know, where's that's your, just the way gifts are. Where's your family originally from? Austin. Everybody's in, everybody born raised in Austin. Where they might where they migrate from. Uh, really, just different parts of Texas. You it's know, always um, in Texas. No one always, down. Always been, always been in Texas. Um, you have some people that may, they may were born and raised in Texas, and they either moved to Cali, uh, moved to California, or Colorado, or New York, okay. or whatever. But okay. as far as most of the 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 main people that I remember mm -hmm. that I was related to, because you know. Pretty much, because everybody's different. Right. All families are different, and so we we really didn't. We were just making it from day to day. We didn't. We wasn't thinking about doing the family reunions or anything like that. So that was not my my reality. Gospel music has always been my reality. Okay. Okay. Got so. you on that. Definitely. Let me ask the next next question I have for you. Um, where what um, any projects uh that you're looking forward or, or trying to put together because i know that you write you write music um how long you been uh writing music i would say uh i wrote my first song at the age of nine okay and it was for my mother's birthday oh, and i was okay. able to sing the song and play it because i taught myself how to play um, right. 
at the age of, I started teaching myself at eight. So then okay. one of the first things I did was wrote my mama a song. And so I wrote it for her. And so I just been writing ever since. And so uh, my, uh, my goal is to always be able to put out uh, music. Uh, oh, even, okay. And so and my, and that's what I really would like to do is to be able to put out music, you know, I have all the songs written out and everything. Um, and what has been a difficult task is right. to uh, find producers, uh, you know, individuals that is serious about mm -hmm. making good music and not just say, okay, yeah, we can do it. And I don't hear from you no more. Right. Because after a while, I'm going to stop asking. Guaranteed. You know, the, you know, the, the mu this music business thing is one of the craziest, weirdest businesses out there because you're dealing with a lot of personalities. Number one. Right. Number two, you're dealing you're dealing with people uh, in their moods. You're dealing with with life, things happening because things happen in life, you know, like right. like timing, you know, like something happens where they fall. Oh, I forgot I needed to do this. I forgot I needed to do that. And in the world that we're in right now, if people could just forget about timing for a moment and pay attention to the project, they would be better off, you know. And, that, and that's what it is. Um, people have lost themselves. There, there's a lot of people still, still uh, walking, but they don't realize the only thing they're doing is breathing. That's it. Just existing. You know? That's it. That, that that's actually it. And they're wondering why they like they they call their doctor and they say hey you know doctor it hurts when i do this and then the doctor says okay well you want to do this and you want to do that and then the next week they call back to the doctor and says uh i'm still hurting doctor and the doctor says to them did you do uh this and do that uh no but i'm still hurting <laughs> you know <laughs> what i mean and that's what it is because yeah. what we're learning um and i'm sure you're there too and hopefully this helps you is you just got to pay attention to people um, because a lot of people that you're talking to aren't really listening. And what they're doing is basically they're they're listening to answer instead of listening to understand. And that's what, where I differ in that. I want to know, you know, what's happening. I want to know when I ask you a question, I'm, I'm, I really want to know because I'm interested. I'm not asking that question because we're on a podcast or anything. I'm really interested in the questions that I asked you. Uh, like my next question, I, I'm going to ask you right now. Um, if you were able to pick a person, female or male, to do a uh, duel with, where you know, um, and it was a, a song that you wrote, who would that person be? It could be. I mean, you name whomever, but. Uh, if you could do something with a female and or you could do something with a male. What, uh, who would you... Well, of course, this question has to be somebody that's alive because we, 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 we don't want to sing with you. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, this ain't that kind of show. <laughs> okay. We're not, we're not singing no tales of the crypt, No. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Um, I'm in the light. I'm in the light. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would say um, someone that I would love to sing with, Layla Hathaway. Ooh. Oh my God. Yeah. Man, Layla Hathaway. When that I heard that woman can do two part harmony. Yes. Who does that? Yeah, Layla exactly. Hathaway. Look, hey, Layla see. Hathaway. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. I'm, we're gonna revisit that in just a second. But you know, have you ever just because I, I I love music. I mean, as you probably can tell. Um, Me too. I was a big Anita Baker fan, also. Yeah. And and uh, I've been, you know, I, I just, you know, when I when I heard you sing, I thought I thought of all the different people. That I could match, you know, that I'd like to hear you sing with if I could, you know. And I'm trying to trying to figure out, you know, which which direction, you know, should this this brother go? Um, but yeah, who who else? 
Who else would you? Who uh, would you Okay, let's say I I gave you the female on the male side. I would I would like to do a song with um hmm I think I would actually like to do a song with John Legend. Oh, okay. You know what? Um, iron sharpens iron. You know, uh, which is very important, and I, I'm glad you said that because, you know, there are certain people, uh, just like in basketball or whatever or or football, there are certain people that just make you better, you know. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm so glad you said that. Um, I would resonate, and I would really, if I were you, um, I would really, and this is the only time I'll, I'll use that. If I were you, uh, mm -hmm. intro. Um, I would put myself around better people that that could actually again like you don't want to be the smartest guy in the room i never want to be the smartest guy in the room i want to continue to learn but when it comes to your music your passion your gift i would gravitate more to people that like like that because yeah. they just it's going to make you want to before it's going to bring something out of you because you're around someone that that is already there like he's right. on this frequency He's on this frequency right now, and you're on this frequency right now. But you, the moment that he started to play or started to sing, you would immediately raise, you know. You know how that works, you know. Uh, Absolutely. There are people that can just bring you up. And I'm all about frequencies. The moment that I'm talking to someone, the moment that I meet someone and I learn to meet people where they are, although you don't have to stay down there with them if they're not yeah. on your level, as far as frequencies, but if you can't bring them up somewhat, then you need to keep going. But if you could, if you could feel them, you know, starting to rise, then you, you know, you got something to work with there. But yeah, guaranteed, man. Uh, that's a that's a good one. And why John 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 Levin? Well, you know, uh, being a, a, a being a, a male that sings and play, okay. and. Uh, just listen to different other people. You have some people that they're not able to do both. Right. And so, you know, they'd be like, oh, I can play, but I can't sing. Or oh, I can sing, but I'm not able to play at the same time. And so for him to do that as well as, you know, especially Stevie Wonder. Oh, God. You know, uh, yeah. you know just, just being uh, other men that mm -hmm. play, as, you know, especially for the piano, mm -hmm. you know, uh, like Ben Tankard. Okay. You know, uh, just, 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 just different, just different. When you think of the different male artists that will get on the piano or, or get on the instrument and, and they can sing at the same time and we just all having a, a, just a good time. Let me ask, let me ask you this question. Um, you being a, a, a musician too, um, uh, how long did when did you first start playing uh the keyboard uh i started at the age of eight. Oh, really so you you trained on the keyboard for a while well you know as the, as it says the god given gift <laughs> and so it was because see my uh my grandfather my mother my <laughs> mother's dad he bought a piano for my sister <laughs> to take piano lessons so she had to teach her and, uh -huh. you know, do the recitals. That was her thing at that particular ah. time. And right. so I didn't take piano lessons. Oh. I would just go and, you know, and then okay. I would, I'll just make up my own music. And just because I could sing, okay, I, I was able to make up my own music. And there are times where I would just play and my mother would just come and sit in. And that was our time together there are times okay. when even my mother would sing with me and okay. so um she said i can i only sing with my son so and so <laughs> yeah so you know she, of course she was my there are times when she was my choir member and mm -hmm. when, when i'm in minnesota music mode huh? i'm 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 with it i'm tough with it yeah. and she's like i'm still your mama but you're not singing the correct no i don't care i'm still your mama <laughs> <laughs> so you know we, we we had to bear through 
They're like, okay, uh-huh. I know you're a perfectionist. Right. <laughs> hey, have you have you ever uh have you ever taught uh coached someone in uh, music? The most I've done is you know, as far as just teaching in the church. Okay. You know, just, just teaching songs and uh having them how to pr- pronounce the words. Uh, no, let me walk 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 me through this. So so you're 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 the uh minister of music for this church. So when you guys are um doing the practice for the songs that you're gonna sing and you you're actually teaching these guys how to the pronunciation and, and how to deliver you know these different notes, how do you do that? Walk me through this. So uh, one is whenever you're singing and you're getting ready to, you start off with a word that starts with a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. Okay. I didn't to, know that. Okay, uh, go ahead. Yeah, to pronounce, to, to better uh, approach vocally the words. Say, for example, um, the lyrics, I sing because I'm happy. Instead of saying, I sing because I'm happy versus I sing because I'm happy. So putting that H in front of that I instead of saying I, oh. I'm saying hi. So I love it. Announcing the word I, I by the time it gets to you in the audience, mm-hmm. you like the way I approach the word I is just saying I is high. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that reminds me of uh there's a couple of uh <laughs> singers I want to get next to you, you know when they ah instead of yeah. instead of the ah you yeah, know no, I, 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 I love you <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh 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 <laughs> yeah there you go there you go you know exactly what I'm talking about Absolutely. yeah so so let me so you you um how how many years have you been doing something of that of that nature? Well, like I said, I started at the age of twelve working with uh, choirs. Okay. My first church was Young's Chapel AME Church. AME, okay. AME, <laughs> yes. Uh, AME. <laughs> you know what I mean? Methodist Episcopal, yeah. You know when they got the AME in there, you know you, <laughs> you know they be grooving. <laughs> Well, you, you you know the, the thing about it is is that you know it's it's really I look at it like this, um you know I grew up Baptist and then started working with the Methodist Church, it was just like minor things that was different, but all in okay. all, folks gonna gravitate to good music, right? Period. And so, and and a lot of, and a lot of times when that does happen, uh. Certain individuals get jealous, whether it's choir members, or you can always even come up to the pastor. Um, I've dealt with uh, uh, pastors been jealous, want to sing over me. I'm singing along right. with the choir, then you want to sing on top of me. And so right. I'll just stop singing and let you have it. Uh, there's one particular uh, pastor that did it. And it didn't go well with my mama. <laughs> it, 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 it didn't go well with her. I'm, I'm not coming back to the church. But mama, <laughs> no. Because that pastor there, I'm like, yes, ma'am. We, we, we're going to hey, work on that. <laughs> I, for, for our uh, our guest uh, and, and listener, viewer, I say for our, our viewers, um, how do we how do they get a hold of you? What's your uh, your um Instagram, what's your, are you on Facebook? Um, can you get, uh, just go ahead and tell, give us the list of stuff that how the people get a hold of you. Well, on Facebook, I'm under Chad, Chatty Bear Howard, just like it's listed there. And okay. then on Instagram, I'm uh, under the real Chatty Bear. And so okay. uh, they, they'll be able to, Hit me. I'm I'm pretty much on Instagram and Facebook. All those other ones I really don't fool with. Yeah, but most of the time, it's either Facebook or Instagram. 
Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So you are. You are. Uh, how do you feel right now? You're excited about knowing that you're going back on October 19th to the Showtime at the Apollo. And man, I'm ready. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Let's let's do this. <laughs> let's go. Let's 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 go and get it in. Hey, let me ask you. Let me ask you another I'm question. Ready. Um. Because I because you can't you can't tell anyone right now and I and I wouldn't want you to tell me either. Um, but do you have any songs picked out already that you're gonna do or what do you what do you think? Well, you know, uh as they say, if it, if if it's not broke. Okay. All right, okay. I, I hear you. Yeah. No, no. Barry, Barry White done got me this far. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Now let me ask this question, because because you're you're uh you're a professional. Whether you know it or not, you're you're a professional because when you when you the the moment that you do something the first time, <clears throat> we don't always do it right, and there's no way to know whether we did it right or not uh, because it's the first time we did it. Um, the second time that we do something, we can kind of modify things, fix it here, fix it there, based on the how they receive us. Um, how what what changes do you think that you'll make if any on your third uh your third uh, performance i can't tell you that okay no i, I mean not that. don't tell me the, the, <laughs> no <laughs> but no uh well no because the thing about it is is that this was really um the performances was really based off of uh just this natural impulse and there you so, go that's, what I'm, that's, that's uh, where i'm so, going that's um, right. and, pe and people uh people you know I, they have messaged me they're like oh i love your stage presence and and mm -hmm. everything like that and because they they don't want me just to stand still and sing because oh, that was that was one of the things that um wait wait let me show different. you let me show you something <laughs> <laughs> don't do not stand still because they'll do this at the Apollo you know exactly exactly you know <laughs> so that's why I want to move around and you know they were they were saying you know make sure you connect with the people on the second and the third balcony because mm -hmm. and that they they had it full up there on both yes. times and so there, there are some a lot of times you you only zero in on what's in front of you or right. you know the main floor so that's why i was making sure that i was i gave them a point i looked up look you know engaging i'm singing to you too there you go i remember you me go. i'm singing okay. to you too and so, so you, you're saying that uh you're uh not gonna if it ain't broke don't fix it um but I, I like what you just said, and that's that's why I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But I I, I just have to make sure that uh, I let you know how much I appreciate what you're saying, because it, it always helps someone else. Um, being able to read the room, that's what I'm that's what I'm getting from you right now. You're able to you're able to read a room before you start performing. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. That was uh, definitely one of the things that I can remember. My mother. And I would, I would definitely talk about you got to read the room, uh, even in, even in the church. You know, I'm not going to, if if it's a certain uh, age group, I'm not going to sing something that that y'all just not going to get with. Right. So if it's a, if it's an older crowd, I'll I'll take it old school. If it's a younger crowd, I take it more modern. So it's really about re reading the crowd and. Um, the the thing is, you can never go wrong with good, just good music altogether. And there's right. the older generation; they remember Barry White. Yes, and that's my that's one of my mother's favorite. That actually, know, that's my mother's favorite. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, that that was you know Barry White was in a class all by himself. Dude, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was Guaranteed. like he gonna be on a ticket. Oh, I gotta go see Barry White. Who else gonna yeah. be there? I don't know who else gonna be on there, but Barry White gonna be there. So it yeah. was like people gravitated to that, and even uh, when I got to singing at this other event, 
this lady ran to my godmother <coughs> and she was like saying, oh my God, he's today's Barry White. Oh my God, the chatty bear, you know. And so, <laughs> uh, and I, chatty bear was the name I had when I was younger and then start using it as I got older and be like, you know, chatty bear grown now. So yeah. it's a grown chatty bear. And so yeah. being able to use that and people gravitate to it is it's truly been a blessing. Let me ask this 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 uh, next question and then we'll start to wrap it up. But um as far as instruments, what other instruments do you play? Let's see, keys and drums. Oh yeah. no, you got that one too? I, I, I do a little I can do a little something some other drums. I do a little. Oh, see, that's that's that that's talent. Um, when it comes to um, if you can if you can play the drums, that means that you could actually you would actually you 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 could develop or you already have it, whether I know it or not, because I don't know that much about you. You could also you're also a beat maker too, then. Right, you know, it, it just goes along with the music, um, with the uh, the single. Jesus always with me. That mm -hmm. came to me when I was uh, driving on the highway, and it was like, do, 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 do. and it, it just it would just it hit, it hit to my head, and I just write some words to it, and the Lord. Oh, hey, you know, let me let me tell you right now that intro that intro is powerful. That 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 <laughs> intro you got it. You know when that comes on, you got to turn it up. I'm one of those people where certain <laughs> certain certain parts of music, like if you don't get them in the beginning, you know, you go you, you lose them quickly. And and let me just do this right now on that song right there, the intro, uh -huh. boom, it just it just kicks, it just kicks. You're like, um, <laughs> and it's that it's that head bob. You know, you automatically want to bob uh -huh. that head. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, great job on. Great job on that one. Great job. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, load that one right after our, our podcast. Uh, I'm gonna load up our podcast. Uh, I'll repost. Um, and you know what's out. crazy about that song? Mm -hmm. That song is ten years old. I was gonna ask that because I see I went back and I don't usually do this, but I went back and I started checking through some of the music that you video stuff that you had on YouTube and stuff. And I'm looking at I'm looking at times and dates and stuff, and I'm like, all right. He mentioned that he had this new one, and I, and I I didn't post that one yet on purpose because I wanted to, I wanted to hear all the other stuff that you had first. I wanted to match you up with other artists that I immediately when I talk to you, I kind of connect I connect with people energy wise, and I I connected with you, and I immediately you know because I knew you did the Barry White that was a gimme. I was like, okay, let me, let me, let me. I I hear Luther, I hear you know, I hear I, I hear uh, you know Freddie Jackson. I was like, and then Gerald Levert. I heard Levert in there, and then I went to the OJ's. <laughs> wow! I went back to the OJ's, and then then I went to the Isleys, and I I matched Ooh. your voice up with the Isleys, and I was like, and you know, you fit in all of those categories. I was like, oh man, this is great. And I said this to my moms. I said, you know, I was like, I was talking to her and I was like, you know what? He hasn't even given his best yet. He only, he only gave him a little bit. I was like, and, and one back to back. I was like, there is something special about that gentleman that either he doesn't know how good he really is or he's holding back just given just enough knowing that he's better than he, he can he he's he's trained enough where he actually can go on these and do this with these people because he's you've trained other people i just kind of depicted this that you can just give just enough where you're that much better than them to win but you're hold you're holding back until that that one person comes in you're like oh i gotta bring it now i gotta bring it now so let me ask you this question and you don't have to answer it all the way, but is is that kind of where you're at right now? Where is that you knew that you were, and not bragging, it's just gifted, 
you either have it or don't. Did you know that you were a, a better uh, gifted to win the first time and second? I mean, the second time than the people that you were uh, competing against? No, I didn't. Good. A great answer. Great answer. That's an honest, great answer. And, and the reason I like the way you answered that, you didn't wait to answer that. You answered it right away. That means it's genuine. You didn't look up to the left, so I knew you weren't lying. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, I mean, keep in mind, like, you know, like I said, being a joke. Okay. You know, so I've dealt with a lot of negativity. So people, again, for a the people that are, the people that are going to be watching this later on, um, we're talking about uh, someone close at the time, a friend, a uh, seasonal friend, as we call it, because they're, they're either here during uh, the winter or storms or and stuff like that. Um, I, I ain't talking talk to her no more. I ain't talking yeah, to her no more. Yeah, but the, the, what they said <laughs> about, about Chad singing was he's a joke for for thinking that he could sing our – well, actually, he's a joke for singing gospel. And they all, this person also said he's a joke for actually thinking that he could sing R&B. But he, he joked all the way to uh, Showtime at the Apollo and won uh, two times back-to-back. August uh, once, and then he won in September, just September. Here we are in 2022, and he's actually going back on October 19th to, to joke a little bit more, as they say. <laughs> look, look here. And, uh, here, here's another joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, love uh -huh. it, I, love, I love it. Well, you know, you know I'm in your corner. I'm going to be rooting for you. Um, Thank you. Guaranteed, and I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, I'm telling everybody to watch watch you got watch you on this show also. Showtime at the Paul. Now they're they're broad how, how they how are they broadcasting that that show now? They're still how, how did we pick that up? Well, you know everything at this at at this point has been you know through social media, and right. so the show in November, the grand finale that will be, will be televised. Okay, okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. So. The moment that you have the tape of this, you know you got to up, got to send it to me, right? I definitely will. Yeah, because you know I'm gonna be running it, brother. I'm gonna be running, uh -huh. uh, and I'm gonna be saying to you at the at the time, and I, I'm not gonna jinx you or anything because I don't believe in that kind of stuff. I believe in nothing but good energy. Uh, you are you are what you attract, and uh, I wish you all the luck on that, man. Um, but kind of kind of getting ready to wrap it up. You uh you grew up in, in 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 Austin, you said Texas? Yes, I grew up in Austin and I moved to Houston in 2015. Okay, okay. you are uh as far as the family, you are do you have a sister and it's, it's just you two. Uh-huh. Uh Pops, a blessed soul passed away. Yeah. Um your mom um is is still here she's in her, in her 70s got a birthday coming up on october mm -hmm. 25th you said that's it uh i listen man i do I, I i listen to understand versus listen to uh you know to just answer and i think it's very important that people figure that out it's very important that because nowadays no one's the, the biggest problem in, in this world is that no one's listening to each other they Which is the reason why nobody was listening to me all this time. I could always sing. Y'all just didn't catch on to it. Y'all kept ignoring <laughs> me, but Apollo saw me. <laughs> hey, so keep I ignoring would... me while Apollo <laughs> is seeing me. <laughs> hey, let, me let me let me tell you something. I uh, as we get older, one of the one of the things I I've learned also, you know, um, we don't need after you win this next time. We didn't. We ain't gonna say nothing. We just gonna. We just gonna watch you continue to bloom, and bloom and bloom. And 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 one of those big things that you have to understand also. Sometimes you're you're in you're in the right place, but you're not you're not in the right space. Right. You know, and uh, spacing's everything. You know, you got you got to be because there are many times I've been with the right people at the right time, but it wasn't my time. And that's a big thing that a lot of people don't realize too. You can be with all the right people, you can be there all the right time, but it just ain't your time. And and what I what I feel for you is that you're in the right place uh, mentally and physically right now. You're in the right you're in the right space, 
and you're you have been in the right place a hundred percent when it comes to being at the showtime at the apollo because you're with your tribe that's your people there because they they're a they're a tough crowd and you're at that point in your life now where no matter what someone says it ain't it ain't gonna hurt you you know it, it, it's, it's important like like uh what's the off of off of a duck's back what off a duck's back yeah yeah right. underneath Paddling like a mother. <laughs> oh, you, you a joke. Oh, okay then. Are you laughing? Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey, chat, I uh again for the people that are gonna be uh, watching this later on, give them uh all your uh, meet social medias and how they can get a hold of you. Um uh, or and also let them know where they can uh, pick up find your music at. Uh, I'm gonna let you take go on from there. Tell them about your how to get a hold of you and, and your music where, you, where they can find it. You can contact me through uh Facebook, Chad Chatty Bear Howard, also with um Instagram, The Real Chatty Bear. Uh, mm -hmm. you can also uh find me on it's all gospel.com. Oh, yeah, uh, talk yeah. about that for a moment. I, I, I yeah. left off on that. That was something I wanted to ask. Now, you're you're um you have a Sunday show every is that every Sunday or no? Okay, I, I have multiple shows. Oh, let's talk about let's explore this for a minute before we before we get out of here. <laughs> so on Friday, I want to make sure have, they... on Friday there's the video show, which is called okay. Church and with Chad Howard, where okay. it it uh it features indie gospel artists. Okay, independent gospel artists. And then on Saturday is the podcast that the was every Saturday. Uh, eight is eight our time, eight mm -hmm. central standard time. So mm -hmm. eight our time, but it'll be six your time on okay. Saturday. And so then on Sunday mornings on Soul Radio Coast to Coast.com, the internet radio, uh, I do Church with Chad Howard Radio. Oh and wow! So that, okay. And then that also highlights uh, just a plethora of gospel music. Whether it has been artists that have submitted their music to me, or uh, want to shine a light on artists that do not get radio play, because there's a okay. lot of artists that have not received radio play until Chatty Bear. Oh, nice, and nice. So, uh, I I'll do that. You know. Shine, shine, shine on the artists, you know, as long as it's good quality and okay. You look, you've been on your best behavior with me, you know. <laughs> now hey, if you're doing something, if you're doing some crazy, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Brother I Chad, got time I, for that. <laughs> I, I wanna I wanna thank you for this this exclusive part one. Uh talking about your life, how you grew up, how you dealt with uh, uh, entities as far as uh, ignorant people. Um, sometimes people are ignorant and they don't even realize they're ignorant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is you so know? true. And uh, it's just, you know, it's just depending on how they, how they were raised. I want to thank you also for uh, sharing all your music with us. Um, uh, I'm, you know, everything happens for a reason. Uh, I'm so thankful to have someone, a, a friend like uh, Thor, uh, John, John Thor uh, Carlson, who uh, inter introduced me to you uh, via uh, Facebook. Says, you know, I know a guy that you know, will be perfect on your show. But you know how that came into fruition was John. John uh, actually sent me. Actually, we we talk every now and then, you know, because he's busy. Uh, you know, in his life, very busy guy. Uh, has has he has one of the coolest situations where he's you know, I don't know how much you know about him, but you know he's he's a jet jet pilot. Oh, and uh, yeah, I'm sure you know people don't say much about themselves, but he's an amazing person. And I'm not gonna, I, I don't you know give out too much of anyone's information either. But for him to be a pilot, you know, is cool. But to be a jet pilot, that's another level. Uh, wow. You know. Um, but he's so humble, so beautiful of a person. So when he when he mentioned you to me, it wasn't mentioned like you know you should be on the show. It was meant. He says, "Hey, you know, I, I you know this is 
this gentleman had me on his, his radio show and played one of my played one of my songs. And I was like, really? I was like, cool, cool, cool. And then later on, because of how beautiful he is as a person, right. he uh, what was it? Two weeks after, he uh, sent that information to me about you his song being on your uh, on your show. He says, you know what? Um, hey, you know, maybe you should give this guy, you know, a call. Here's his information. Da da da. And I mean, that's that's what I'm talking about. I wish we had more people like that. You know, not only does he think of, you know, he, he's never thinking about himself, you know, because he's got a beautiful studio in his place. He's got a really nice studio in it, oh, uh, wow. at home. And uh, and I've been meaning to get out. I'm, I, one of these, we're, him and I and his wife are friends for life. Him and I are really just, you know, without, we don't have to talk to each other. It's just we already know each other and are thinking. I miss him all the time. And when I send him a message, it automatically we just we just pick right back up on chatting and stuff like that. And uh it's just, just the way it is because he's a beautiful person and I, I love him for just who he is. More importantly, he's a music person, so I get along with music people better than anybody out there. I just that's my tribe. I connect. You know? They're 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 different. Music people are different, you know. They, yes, they, we are. They're on a different beat. And not know? everybody can handle us neither. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're about to wrap up, you know, uh, Chad. I I just want to thank you, Chad, uh, Chatty Bear Howard, for coming in, spending some time with us here on Keep It 100 Podcast. Um, one more time for our guests. I, I'm sorry, for our viewers that are out there. If they want to uh, pick up uh, and, and listen to you on YouTube, how, how do they find you on YouTube? And then again, how do they find you through media? Um, well, I do have music on all digital platforms. Oh, so, mention to us. Tell, name yes, them. You can go. Um, all you have to do is just type in Chad Howard and you'll see this. Oh. And so <laughs> I have uh, Jesus Always With Me and This Far By Faith. Uh, okay. those, those two songs and uh, really wanting to uh, do some more recording. I, like I said, I have a lot of songs. It's just about finding the right people to uh, for them to be manifested. And okay. so any producers that are looking that uh that's not gonna that's that's not gonna play emotions with me. Let's right, right, right. You know, hit me up. Let's let's go and make some music. And uh, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm uh, then like I said, uh social media, Facebook, okay. chat, chatty bear howard, um okay. Instagram at the real chatty bear, um, okay. www .com. And so just, just follow me and let's just go on this music journey together. Oh, that's perfect. 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 Well, Chad, I want to thank you for coming in, man. This is part one exclusive, uh, with Chad, Chetty bear Howard out of, uh, Houston, uh, Texas. And, uh, he's here with me, JR. Um, we will have a part two. I want to get that part two. Uh, actually, we'll probably do that right after, right after you come back from uh, this October. This uh, on October nineteenth, you'll be go going on to the Apollo yeah. to uh, actually compete for your third time, the trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. So until next time, Chad, uh, I'll be talking to you real soon. But actually, I'm going to stay in contact with you because I want to. I want to get make sure that uh, we uh, air your your number three uh, performance there. Either way, I want to I want to, I want to see it and see what happens. I got a good feeling about it. Uh, I got a good feeling about you. Um, until next time, Chad. I want to thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. All right. Anybody you want to give any shout outs to? You want to say hello to anybody before we click out of here? I'm not gonna start calling names because people are like, you didn't call my name. So you know, <laughs> I'm gonna be like this. For those of you that are uh, the supporters, uh, the, the thank you so much. And for the haters, I encourage you to keep hating because the more you hate, the more God elevates. There you go. There you go. Thank you, man. I'll talk to you soon, my man. All right. You have a good evening. You do the same. All right.